10 Facts About Taylor Swift's New Album, Midnight's Welcome to Discernitively. Today we will give you a slice of the latest news on one of the greatest musicians of all time, Taylor Swift. You might already know that Taylor Swift's new album, Midnight's, came out recently on October 21, 2022. It has taken the media by storm. Midnight sold more than 1.2 million album units during the first three days of its release. Let us dive into the video and find 10 amazing facts about Taylor's new album, Midnight's. Number 1. Midnight's Changed the Pattern Unlike her recent releases, this new album is not a re-recorded version of her old songs but a brand new 10th studio album. With the release of Midnight's, Taylor Swift broke her release pattern where she leaves Easter eggs and slowly lets the fans guess the news. This time, she broke the news at the Video Music Awards 2022 while accepting the Video of the Year award for her iconic song, All Too Well. Number 2. Broke the Records Midnight's is being called Taylor Swift's most successful album so far. It became the most streamed album on Spotify only 24 hours after its release, making Taylor Swift the most streamed artist on the platform. On Apple Music, Midnight set the record for the biggest pop album. Taylor broke the Billboard record by taking over all the top 10 categories of the music charts. Taylor now has 40 top 10 Billboard hit titles under her name, beating other famous artists like Madonna at 38 and Michael Jackson at 30. Number 3. Midnight's Mayhem With Me For this album, Taylor released the title of each track via a video series on TikTok called Midnight's Mayhem With Me. She almost posted a video daily, starting from September 21, 2022. Swift had a bingo cage filled with ping pong balls, and a track number was written on each ball. Then, she would randomly pick a ball and announce the name of that track. This daily interaction helped the fans connect with Taylor after a long time. Number 4. The Anti-Hero Challenge The lead single from Taylor's album is called Anti-Hero. After the release of the music video of this song on YouTube, Taylor Swift asked her fans to do the Anti-Hero Challenge. The challenge is basically to make a small video on the lyrics It's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me, featuring any guilty pleasure, insecurity, or habit in order to accept and appreciate who we are and love ourselves for it. Number 5. Tracks and Bonuses There are 13 tracks in the album, Midnight's. After releasing the titles of all the singles, Taylor broke the news on October 13 that there would be additional bonus tracks on this album, which are the remixes and piano versions of the Midnight's tracks. Number 6. Collaboration The fourth track of this album is called Snow on the Beach, which features another best-selling musician, Lana Del Rey. Taylor expressed her admiration for Lana Del Rey by calling her the best musical artist ever. She also said she'd be grateful for life for having an opportunity to work with Lana Del Rey. Number 7. Songwriting While describing the subject matter for Midnight's, Taylor said that the album is the stories of 13 sleepless nights scattered throughout my life. Taylor wrote about fictional characters and scenarios in her past few albums, Folklore and Evermore, but this album is more faithful to her purpose of finding oneself. Number 8. The 3 AM Tracks The 3 AM Tracks is a collection of seven more tracks that Taylor announced after the release of Midnight's. She said these seven songs better tell the album's story and show us the creative process. She tweeted, I think of Midnight's as a complete concept album, with those 13 songs forming a full picture of the intensities of that mystifying, mad hour. However, there were other songs we wrote on our journey to find that magic 13. I'm calling them 3 AM tracks. The titles of these tracks are The Great War Bigger Than the Whole Sky Paris High Infidelity Glitch Would've, Could've, Should've, and Dear Reader Number 9. Midnight's Merchandise Taylor Swift also released Midnight's Merchandise, including four colored vinyl albums with cover art. If you connect all four album covers, their backs make a clock striking midnight. With this, Taylor Swift also broke final album records by selling 500,000 copies on the day of its release. 
According to an article on CNBC, Luminate, an entertainment data company, stated that Midnight's has had the most significant sales week for a vinyl album since the company began tracking music sales in 1991. Number 10. The Tour Soon after the release of Midnight's, Taylor Swift announced her first tour in the last five years. Her sixth tour will be titled Taylor Swift's The Era's Tour. As the name suggests, it won't only be about Midnight's but will shed light on all the different eras Taylor Swift has had throughout her career. Taylor Swift has always been an icon. From the cool and upbeat song, Shake It Off, to the famous breakup anthem, Dear John, Taylor Swift always manages to win the hearts of music lovers around the globe. But, Midnight's also did not hold back and is all set to break the previous records. That's it for today's video. We hope you had fun learning about the record-breaking success of Taylor's new album, Midnight's. If you feel like we missed something, comment down below. For more exciting content, head over to our channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Discernitively will be waiting for your feedback. Till then, happy learning. And take care. This video is only for entertainment purposes and does not constitute advice. Copyright Discernitively Limited 2022